Hello everybody and welcome to Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. I wanted to show you something that I ran across uh, when I was doing one of Michael Tyler's boxes um, in the Vectric newsletter. And it's a tool path that um, I, I don't know when it was put in, but uh, I just happened to cross it by accident and it allows us to eliminate the two rail sweep and create uh, a molding in this case without the two rail sweep function and we can do it directly from the tool pads. And so what I've done here just in preparation to not bore you to death is I imported a bitmap of some various molding profiles. I then used the bitmap trace to trace all of these and then uh, once I was done, I selected, this is the one that I want to use here. And if we come over here and measure this, we can see from here to here, this particular molding is only going to be about 1.349 inches in total uh, length or height, however you want to look at it. And I want to make, um, let's just say we're either making the side to a box or we're making a baseboard molding or a chair rail, but I want this to be approximately three inches tall. And so I'm going to come over here to set the selected object size. And I want my width in X to be three inches. And then we're going to hit apply and close. And so now I have a three inch tall molding here and you can get a little bit better look at it. Uh, this would make a, a nice, in fact, I did a, a box that I'll show you at the end here with this, this particular profile. So normally what we would do is we would draw two lines, we would come to our modeling and we would do a, a two rail sweep, which you've seen many videos on that before, but this toolpath that I came across, we're just going to jump right over here to the toolpath section within Vectrec. And before we do that, we just need to draw one line. How long do we want it to be? And you could, you could make this as long as you want. For the sake of this, uh, I'm going to make it nine inches. Um, let me undo that. I apologize. Uh, for the sake of this, we'll go... Uh, minus 90 degrees and uh, we'll go nine inches long and add and there's our line finish and close and now we'll hop over to the tool paths and there's this tool path right here called molding tool path if I select that and I click on my line and I select use selection see how the arrow is pointing down and see how my cursor now has the shape, a little molding shape underneath the arrow. It wants me to select my profile, which I've done there, and boom, it's going to put the molding to this side. If the arrow was going up or you reversed the direction of the rail, it would be on the other side. Now, here's a problem that we have. The cut depth exceeds thickness. That means that I'm too thick from here to here. So let's close that. We'll hop over here to our material setup. And just for sake of the demonstration, we'll set this at 1.75 inches in thickness. And now let's once again molding tool path. Select our line. Use Selection, select our molding, and now um, we'll leave the, uh, we'll machine this away. We, we could have made it the exact height and measured all that, but for the sake of time. Um, and then what tool do we want to do to finish this? It's a pretty open molding, so I'm going to select a, uh, let's just use a half inch ball nose bit. And then we're going to use a half inch end mill to clear out the big stuff. And that's it. And calculate. And there we go. And if I preview that, 
There's my molding. And so then we want to cut that out. So what I would do then is take my profile and line this up so that it's right on there. Use my measuring tool and I can see that this should be right at three inches, right? Yeah. And so what I'll do is, is I'll make a three inch box starting from right here, dragging down. And we'll go three by nine from this upper left corner three inches sorry about that by nine inches and apply and close and now we have a profile to do the cutout and so we'll with that selected profile toolpath cutting the full 1.75 inches and again we we made the depth extreme just so we could illustrate it but uh, calculate and then let's preview that it cuts the molding out, get rid of the waste, and there you have a really neat looking three inch tall molding uh, model, side of a box, whatever, all done from the tool paths. Didn't have to do any modeling, no two rail sweeping, nothing. We just simply created a tool path. And you could make this 96 inches. You could, if you have a big enough machine, eight feet, you've got some really nice baseboards. Uh, as I said, chair rails, crown molding, whatever you'd like, absolutely works great. I've done it on some boxes. Um, and I just wanted to show everybody that. So I'll show a couple pictures of the box at the end of this uh, that I did utilizing this technique. I hope this helps you out. It's kind of a quick technique to make a molding. And I appreciate everybody watching this work against the grain. My name is Jeff.